Hello, my sexy muffins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, it's another Happy Lunar New Year's video. So, Happy Lunar New Year and all that good stuff. In this video, it is Shang, 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 that's how we said, Shang Li from Animated Mulan, base Yandere head cannons and all that good stuff for him. So, yes, let's get on to it. Disclaimer, Shang Li is not Yandere and Kenan. This is just for fun and not to be taken seriously at all. Simping for fictional characters and fictional Yandere's is fine. Just do not be illegal or gross about it. Yandere's are not ideal partners to have in real life. Also, remember to separate fiction from reality and head canon from canon. Oh, thank you, and let's do this. Shang Li is the son of General Li. He is smart and capable. He is also very strong and has very good looks. He also might be possibly bi or pan in canon, which here is a little bit of Chinese, ancient Chinese history for you. At least in the royal families, it was allowed for them to have boyfriends. They couldn't marry these men, males, marry males, but they were allowed to have boyfriends. They still were expected to get married and had kids, but unlike Western cultures being gay in ancient China was not a sin and all that stuff and such. But more so, it was you had to still marry women even while having a boyfriend because you still had to carry on your name, have marry a wife, and carry on your family's name type of thing, which was the situation for some royals. Even an ancient Chinese emperor had a boyfriend, and there's a story of where he cut off his sleeve while he was sleeping because he had to go to emergency work, but he didn't want to wake his boyfriend, so he left his boyfriend in his palace. So there are in ancient Chinese history where emperors had boyfriends. So, fun fact. Anyways, back to the thing. In this... He, eh, okay, I skipped a few lines because he is very likely that he, when he, in the show, that he was attracted to Mulan, Mulan but when she was dressed as a man and that she, he could have been attracted to her at that time, but also attracted her. So in this, he has not met Mulan, but he has met you. And regardless of your physical form, may it be male, female, or somewhere in the middle, form he is loves you and is men of you regardless of your gender or your physical form just like the song that was played which is honor to us all and them getting right for the matchmaker he is a man who will go to war for you and to honor you and all that but more like it's saving face he adores you for you and for who you are and wants to keep you safe and sound. He is a very protective Yandere by nature to his very core. That he is willing, and so much that he is willing to risk his life for yours. Although at first he is very strict on rules and such, he does not, he, sorry, tongue twister, he does his best to follow the rules. Although over time he will break those rules if he has to, so he can be with you and that make sure that you are his. He wants to also be able to prove himself for you, that he is a good man who can protect you and be worthy of the, worthy of you. He would defend your life and save face for you. Saving face uh, is how you really should say, like, Basically, it's the equivalent of uh, defend that person's honor, save that person's honor, restore their honor, yada, 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 yada. Uh, Western media is obsessed with, oh, I must bring honor to my family. No, it must mean I must save face for family. That's how you would say it in China, and that's how it would be saving face and save face is how it should be. Anyways, let's continue. Save face. He... Uh, anyways, he would say face and all that good stuff for you to respect you. You are just not a partner to him. You are just not a partner to him, but the love of his life, and he will stand by your side through it all. He is, although a bit of a stick in the mud and kind of guy, and also with his very strict things, it can be a pain in the butt at first. In other words, at he basically he would be a at first 
he would expect you to do as he says and not disgrace his face. He is holding you to a very high standard. Of course, again, he, he, I accidentally wrote she, he is not a she. He gets better learning. You are his partner and an equal partner and respect in that for you. He is also self, a very self sacrifice in Yandere, which that and the protective side of him, of him wanting to do whatever it takes to keep you safe and to keep you safe and sound. Uh, keep you safe, I meant, and to save your life and keep you safe and sound. There we go. It does not matter what he has to do to protect you. He will do it. How does he deal with rivals? Most likely beats the poo out of them. But he has a darker side as a Yandere, and this darker Yandere side would have him, well, he would have certain rivals framed for rivals sorry my type in so I got replied assembled he would have certain rivals framed for crimes they did not commit where they were they are unalive publicly or exiled sorry I had to check something he would confess to you either before oh sorry I skipped a line his dark side is very, very much dangerous, in which he would even have these rivals uh, taken care of, such as their lives ended after they were exiled, because he needed to make sure that they were taken care of. For those who don't know, in ancient China, this was a common practice in the royal courts, where right uh where people that were against the old emperor where would be exiled eventually after being left after being framed and then they would be uh assassinated anyways he would confess to you before he goes off to war and wait for you so uh sorry my tongue is so freaking tied up today it is ridiculous he would confess to you either before he goes off to war so you could wait for him to return and marry him or after when he comes home from war, he will pick you up and smooch you. If you do accept his feelings, he will be with you right away. Even if he, if he can, he will marry you. If he cannot, he will still be with you no matter what and plan to never marry anyone else, but adopt kids with you at the very least. If you turned him down and turned all his feelings down or worse, been with someone else while he was gone, he will unalive your partner and then take you as prisoner, keeping you locked away where no one can steal you from him. Again, you turn down his love, he will make sure that he is the only one you can love. He, of course, is still loving and affectionate, but now you know he will do whatever it takes to keep you as his and his alone forever. You do not have a choice in the matter. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this, and if you would like to see more, comment below what you would like to see, and I will do my best to do it. This is another plan out, and February is full as of so far, and March will probably be full very soon too. But anyways, I hope that you are all having a great Lunar New Year, and now on to Patreon outro. Patreon outro. Thank you, Gav, for being my first patron. You are wonderful, beautiful, stunning, gorgeous. Mwah. Thank you, Gav. Thank you, Wicked Brony, for being my second patron. You are wonderful, beautiful, stunning, gorgeous. Mwah. Thank you, Wicked Brony. I hope that you all enjoyed this. And stay sexy, all my sexy muffins. Bye-bye. Secret after time, secret after time, secret after. Okay, secret after of the day. Would you accept Shang, Shang Li? As your partner and smashed him. I would accept his feelings and I would have smashed him. Bottom line. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed and stay sexy. All my sexy muffins. Bye bye.